La Sabo, Drake, Hawkins, Bonnie, and many more characters are making their way into One Piece Stampede this summer. And we have the first look at their new outfits, or sort of, sort of new outfits. We got their new color designs, their new color schemes, whatever you want to call it. And some of them looking kind of clean, but the rest are kind of looking kind of eh. But before we get into this, guys, be sure just to hit the like button. You know, I'm not someone who fishes for likes a lot, but if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy me talking about Stampede and you want to see more of it in the future, just hit the like button. I'm just let people know about this content because not many people are covering Stampede like how I'm covering it. Likes are very important on YouTube, so hey, help a brother out. Anyway, let's get on to the color designs. So for the most part, these colors gotta look like basic redesigns. So let's start off with Law. Law's wearing a yellow jacket and orange pants with the polka dot print on it. And honestly, it's more like another variation of his Dress Rosa outfit, but with a different jacket. I'm not sure I really like the orange and yellow combination. It's a little garish, but it's all right. We got Kid wearing basically just a recolor of his basic post time skip outfit. A lot of blue, it's actually a pretty good look on him with the blues and the deep purples and the Sion colors. So I'm kind of digging it. And we've got Killer who looks like Killer. Yeah, what can I say? It's just another, it seems more like a lot of these are just recolors. And we get a closer look at his arm. You can definitely tell his arm's kind of fucked up now. Like his arm's not really in good shape. But yeah, so Killer looks like Killer. Surprisingly, his mask is still the same color as before. And we got everybody's favorite dinosaur, DS Drake, who looks like Drake. Again, pretty much his basic design, except the fur around his jacket is now green, which with that color for his hair, does not really work that well. And speaking of his hair, it's a, it seems more like a darker brown than an orange color. Anyone notice that? That's interesting and probably one of the worst out of the bunch basil hawkins hawkins what they do to you man look how they mess with my boy oh god no no the what is that so i'm not really a big fashion head but the pink color scheme and the blue and green plaid pants are not working for hawkins at all all the colors to go with his jacket like hot Pink is not the one I would have chosen. And Apu is looking kind of sickly in a bad way with that that bright green color, man, for his like little garb he's wearing. I don't know, man. Like it seems like this is like if this was a fighting game, it seems like they chose the different alt colors you would choose for characters in a fighting game that look terrible compared to their base colors. So yeah, I'm not really liking the green on Apu, and I'm also not liking how similar it is. It pretty much is his post time skip design, just with the different colors. Like, half of these are that. I said that like five times by now, but I just wanna, you know, hit home how disappointed I kinda am in half of these designs they're wearing. But there is one that I am digging, and that is from Capone, because it's basically his usual suit design. Same stripes, same coat, same everything, but it's like an inverted color scheme, and he's looking clean, he's looking clean, got the drip. I like this, man. Honestly, this is probably better than his base design. Just the white goes well with him, with that mafioso look. It looks clean, it looks good. It looks mwah. I like it. And uh, Yerouge, uh, yeah, uh, the less said about your rouge, the better. And we have my girl Bonnie, who oh Jesus, it's 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 really similar to her pre time skip outfit, but the colors is actually not that bad, not bad at all with colors for Bonnie. And next we have totally not undercover Vice Admiral Marine Smoker, <laughs> dressed up in his pirate's garb. Disguise outfit, so this 100% confirms that Smoker and Dishi are going to be in disguise during the Pirates Festival. I really like Smoker's disguise though. The, the black and red, it does it for me, along with the open white top he's wearing. So good. And of course, he's got his cigars on his chest. He always needs to have his cigars, you know, his his Cubans there, you know, the smoke on him. He, he's, got, uh, he's got it all right there next to him. And he's still got his Jute, or Jite, I don't know how you still pronounce it. I always get it mixed up on his back. Now to Shigi. We see both her pirate outfit and her regular marine outfit. Uh, basically, she just put on a hat. <laughs> she just put on a hat. 
and a scarf and it's it's all right it works it works you know she can looking good you know uh, a lot of purple blue and pink it works for her because you know she's always had that pink coat and purple and and I guess hot pink kind of works better with her color scheme it's closer to her usual colors design and then we get to the real travesty oh my god Sabo oh what did they do to you what is that no <sighs> okay I see what they were trying to go for with the long cloak, the long bun of cloak. The white tie is nice, but the entire cut scream is a complete disaster. It's a fucking train wreck. Why does he have bright cyan blue, dark red, and brown mixed together? That's the most unappealing colors ever. Like I said before, I'm not a fashion head. But this is not it, Chief. Maybe it'll look better in the movie, but I kind of doubt it. And as a bonus, we got to look at Luchi, Crocodile, Hancock, and Buggy in their design. So Buggy, we're just going to make a quick work of Buggy. It's still his post time skip design, the one he wore when we first saw him after Dress Rosa. That big, imposing, fucking red carpet he's put on. It really, it just looks like Buggy just ran into a window curtain. And it all just fell on top of him and he just got stuck like that. My theory is that Buggy just trying to make himself look big and imposing because he's not a warlord. But honestly, anyone who sees this can just put two and two together and say like, Hey man, you're just wearing some, you're just wearing a window curtain on your body. What are you doing? Hancock is looking good. It's looking, looking oh, extra spicy. So there's a lot of black and white and some purple. I guess that's a dark purple. The design is very reminiscent of her... Amazon Lily outfit, but it's got uh, those like red flil frills around the breast area. Yes, I'm looking at the breast area. No, no, don't judge me. And Lucci and Crocodile are looking mighty fresh right now. Lucci with the blue and black and white. Blue, black, and white work greatly with his color scheme and his design here. Notice how Hattori is even wearing the exact same color scheme. That is cool. It's a, like a mix of his pre time skip color scheme with it mixed with his post time skip color scheme. But it just has so much fresh stuff to it. Maybe I would get rid of flower, but it, it's not causing too much of an issue there. And Crocodile, Lord of Mercy, the drip. This man, Crocodile's always been the best dressed One Piece villain. Like, no disrespect to Doe Flamingo because he rocks his in a different way, but I prefer Crocodile's fresh suit, the coat. Like the freaking bun of vest, it just works. It all works. And this is how you work with brown into a color scheme that doesn't make it look awful. See, it's still respective to his original color scheme the green, the brown. But it works here because it's just a lot more mafioso looking. In fact, he looks more like a mafia boss than Capone looks like. But yeah, that's it guys. Those are the designs for some of the characters that are going to be appearing in this film with many, many more to come in the coming weeks and months as we get closer towards release. So tell me, who do you think looks the best? Let me know down below and we will talk about it. So this has been JC of the Annie Game with Nexus. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for more One Piece Stampede content coming very, very soon. Keep on keeping on, folks.